Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrat Space. And my name is Anadi, I'm the creator of Skyrat Space. And today you're watching What If. So in this episode, I'm going to bring the Apollo Lunar Module using Space Shuttle. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm really sorry because I'm not uploading videos recently because I have some business that need to be done. Back to the videos, now I'm putting the Apollo Lunar Module into the Space Shuttle Cargo Bay. I placed the module horizontally on the cargo bay and just using separator to separate them from the cargo bay later. And of course on the distant module too. And turn on all the cheats and reassemble them. After everything it's good. Now just turning off all the cheat and start the gameplay. Engine on, SRB on and lift off. I don't think this will be working because Special is not designed to reach beyond Leo. Miko and we need a lot of Delta V to reaching the moons. Now you're switching to the OMS engine. And as you can see, it's falling back down to earth because the payload is heavier. Now I'm replacing it with Valiant engine. And trying again. Now Miko and external tank separation switching to OMS. And the OMS is working. Now the vehicle is not falling down to earth, but it seems to be a problem here is the fuel capacity because this uh, Valiant is require more fuel than Colibri. So as you can expect here, we're out of liquid fuel. Now I'm will going back to build screen, double the power of SRB. Now launch and lift off, and we got two SRB to boost the vehicle into higher velocity. Everything is seems very stable. SRB separation, clear the debris and continue into orbit. Now about Miko Personal tank separation and switching to OMS. Now the vehicle is heading to low earth orbit. And I think we will reaching Leo on this atom. I'm wrap here and it's making the circular orbit okay but now it's only left 5% fuel heading to moon and turning on the engine and as you can see 
the fuel is depleted we don't have enough fuel so here i'm going to double the uh the engine of the orbiter setting the staging and putting it back again and also i will i will double the extended fuel tank and the external fuel tank as well all right now launch it and of course we need to resemble first so turning all the chip and after everything it's reassemble just turn off all the chip ignition and lift off I don't think this design will work will make it to the moon orbit because here the problem is the orbiter is doesn't have the fuel tank oh no <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I need to to increase the space of the SRB a little bit. All right, that's good. Lift off. SRB separation and clear the debris. Heading to orbit. External tank separation. We got five three one and fuel left now it's heading to leo low earth orbit and it's good heading to moon time wrap here and we got 14 percent left fuel i don't think we have enough fuel yet but as you can see here <laughs> It's never work especially never never leave the low earth orbit even the orbiter is reaching the moon orbit the orbiter is cannot back to earth except uh, receiving a new external tank that sent it from earth so what if Avalo lunar module sent by space shuttle and the answer is impossible <laughs> space shuttle is not meant to working beyond the low earth orbit this vehicle is meant to be sending object into low earth orbit no more no upgrade no improvement but maybe on the uh, weight management of the orbiter because on every orbiter version it had different vehicle mass so the conclusion is the space shuttle is never reaching the moon so it's failed it's not working so that's it for today videos thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video if you like it and of course subscribe to scarlet space and don't forget comment what you thought in the comment section below and share this video to your friend and consider to support my work by becoming a patron of scarlet space and thank you for watching my name is Aradi. Peace out.